Now we'll look at the activities that you need to do to achieve your outcomes. These are known as outputs. We'll also look at the actions that you need to take to make the outputs happen. And we'll look at how to write good quality outputs that can be used in funding applications. So your outputs are the activities that the group will do to achieve its outcomes. If your outcome is that community members will benefit from social, educational and cultural activity, your outputs could be that you will run a drop-in for 20 refugees and asylum seekers for up to 40 weeks of the year. You will deliver a 20-week English language course for 16 people. Or you can hold a community celebration for at least 300 people. These outputs all describe how you will deliver the outcome at the top of the page. To achieve the outcomes and the outputs you identify, you will need to think about the actions that are involved in bringing it to life and making it happen. Let's take the drop-in example. If your outcome is that refugees will experience more social contact with each other, and your output is that your drop-in will run for 38 weeks of the year, there's lots of things you need to do to make that happen. So the actions you need to take include booking the venue, applying for funding, employing staff, promoting the event, and evaluating the experience of the people who use it. When you're thinking about outputs and actions, it's important to be practical and that your outputs are easy to understand. One way of doing this is to think about the letters which make up the word SMART. Sometimes funding applications will ask you to develop SMART outputs and it's important to know what we mean by this, but also they're useful in terms of the questions you can ask yourself to make your output stronger. So as well as this word meaning clever, the letters in the word can help you to check whether your outputs and actions are really practical. So what do we mean by smart outputs and actions? Well, here are some questions you can ask yourself. Are your outputs and actions specific? by which we mean, are they clear and detailed rather than general or vague? Can they be measured? Can you quantify their impact by using numbers? Are they achievable? Can you demonstrate that it's possible for your organisation to achieve the output in the way that you say? Are they realistic? Is it something that you can realistically deliver as an organisation? And are they time bound? Is it clear when the things that need to be done will be done by within the lifetime of the funding you have applied for? If the answer is yes to all of these, then you have a good set of smart outputs. If not, you might want to go back and try and think about them again. Now let's look at what this might mean in a real worked example. So, if your output is that 100 women will have benefit levels checked during your project, you can say specifically there will be 10 women per session who will have the benefit checks in your benefit sessions. These will be measurable because you can show an increase in the women's benefit levels and the difference it has made to their lives over the course of the year. They will be achievable because you can build on the fact that you already have contact with 150 women with refugee status whose benefits could be improved by benefit checks. It will be realistic because a local advice project has already agreed to run 10 sessions for women at your ordinary meetings. And it will be time bound because you know you can deliver this in 10 sessions over a 12 month period of your project. Now let's look at putting your plan together. In the example we've just looked at, the outcome was that women refugees and their families will have fairer access to the benefit system. Outputs included the fact that 100 women will have benefit levels checked 
and follow-up claims will be made and supported to increase their income. And the actions that are needed include applying for the funding, arranging for the benefit advisors to give the advice, promoting the service to the women and evaluating their experience and how it has helped them. To get all this done, we also need to look at who will do what and when 